Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time here is around almost 7 a.m. It's weekend. Uh, you can say Saturday is partial weekend. Some people work, some people don't. But usually Bangladesh weekends are Friday. So Eid is coming up. I'll be doing an Eid list for all you brothers out there. Uh, wallahi, I'm going to do that. Uh, brothers, brothers in Islam, I'll do it. And also, uh, I'll be doing some more lists for summer. So it's kind of like hot and humid. It's raining sometimes. But yesterday, I'll tell you one thing. I went out. It's not related to this review, but I, I went to get some sandwiches and stuff, you know, I felt like let's go to bakery, pick up some nice stuff, get some juice, you know, one of those days. And I went out, it was very cloudy. I'm like, ah, such a nice weather, you know, like breezy, you know, you feel like fucking suddenly out of nowhere, the clouds sort of like, like disappeared. And what I saw was like, literally like, you feel like, you know, Armageddon or something like, you know, like the judgment day is happening. The whole sun came out like crazy. I was not wearing sunglasses, man, my eyes. All I could see was white flash. You know, it's like your life flash before, you know, your eyes and stuff. It was so intensely hot and uh, bright. Man, that was crazy. So be careful out there. If you live in Bangladesh, I always carry uh, something like a cap, umbrella, sunglasses and bottle of water because uh, it will save your life. Okay, so I have today something interesting for you. A little bit different, but people seem to love this kind of list. Affordable perfume. Not everybody has big cash or, you know, big uh, you know like a fortune so some people want to smell nice and on most part these fragrances are kind of affordable under 50 40 50 like this price range and at this point you will say hey isn't that a bit higher than cheapies i understand but times have changed man you know like recent times fragrances decent fragrance will cost you like designer 75 80 dollars no longer 50 dollars so now if you get something under 40 50 bucks that's kind of like good budget some of them are cheaper than that okay so i reviewed all of them Check them out, uh, full review, and you'll get idea. So I'll have no honorable mention. Let's go one by one. This is one beautiful fragrance, okay? This is David Beckham, Intimately Beckham, okay? And uh, look at that bottle. It's very, very pretty. I saw this bottle first time. I got it like a few years back, and I think I reviewed it. This is a very spicy, masculine fragrance, very nice, long-lasting fragrance from this house. Uh, most of fragrances do not last. I think this fragrance house is called David and Victoria Beckham now, but... Uh, back in the days it was uh, you know released at david beckham fragrances okay so many of the fragrances smell nice and good for the budget this is back in the days used to be uh, i would think 25 bucks now it's more like 35 to 40 dollars if you pay retail if you can get it a good deal maybe 30 dollars so the 30 32 dollars so for that it's a good fragrance if you like woody spicy pencil shavings like you know gucci puro moan that of that type of perfume and especially if you like cardamom really good fragrance for masculine men you want to you know get something for budget get it intimately beckham it's a big bottle a bit hard to keep but it is nice number 14 let's try this fragrance house jaguar classic amber this one not everybody talks about you know this line it uh like they have quite a few fragrances okay and uh most of most of it i mostly i do love uh, the fragrance called i think the gold okay classic gold that one it's reminiscent of hugo boss bottled very nice apple this one has some apples too very fruity when you spray it it, it kind of has this apple uh, sort of like a spiced apple kind of combo then it's followed by a little bit of amber it's mostly fruity wears a little bit light but i think this is a really nice fragrance for budget you can definitely give it a try this is called classic amber check out my review and uh, moving on to next one uh, this house, after a long time, bring it. It's Karl Lagerfeld, and this is called Boa de Vetiva. Okay, so this fragrance, I was very impressed by it. I have the whole line, reviewed the whole line. They have something like, uh, uh, I think, uh, what's that other one? Let me get those. Okay, hold on. Yeah, sorry, that's how I review. I'm sorry, I forget stuff. The other two from this line are also very good gems. They are these two. Uh, I think Boa de Yuzu, Boa do Yuzu, Boa de Yuzu, and Boa de Amre. So I got the whole line reviewed, covered, and uh, you can try them. But the longest lasting from this is this. This one, you can say a good replacement because this one has, I think, Ambrox and Rice Way Super makes it last a super long time, seven hours plus. This one is reminiscent or cleaner version, you can say, of Ter Dermes, minus the uh, dirty, you know, dirty sort of vibe that you get from orange powdery notes. This one doesn't have it. It's cleaner. It's more transparent, really nice uh, orange note or mandarin there and really nice uh, vetiver is very 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 handsome and it's actually surprised me i'm recommending this highly try this out at least go to a mall and smell it what uh, sorry uh, yes boade vetiver 
Karl Lagerfeld. They have at least four or five vetiver fragrance under their company. Next one is going to be this beautiful fragrance called David of Horizon. They also have two more, I think Extreme, that's more performing version of it. And there's one more, I forgot the name. But David of Horizon has a really nice looking bottle. Look at that. It looks nice. Some of these designer houses, they have really, really nice looking bottles. And you check this out. I mean, it looks nice. There's a stopper, really nice atomizer. So when I smell this, this fragrance is a little bit uh, uh, familiar. Okay. And uh, you can say you smell this DNA before. This one, this one has a little bit of woody, a little bit of spicy, and then mandarin, like kind of like an orange. And that sort of vibe in the opening. And on the dry down, you get a lot of this mild woody spicy. You can think Gucci, Purum one. Um, with the modern touches you can say but it's a very nice fragrance to wear for fall this and longevity as well david of horizon really nice fragrance for the budget that's number 12. number 11 this fragrance okay i haven't shown you for some time this is mobusan home or mobusan um edp okay i think the juice color used to be uh purple i would say and then over time it changes to like this green color this is very nice bottle as well okay these are okay it's supposed to twist oh man wait yeah it twists just like uh, you know to locking mechanism and stuff after this you can spray when you put it here it's a bit struggle but then it sprays really nice fragrance this one is weird this is very weird i have hard time like uh, describing this perfume i forgot the nose breakdown as well it smells very unique okay something like low blood they say that sort of uniqueness but there's a fragrance i think called casual friday by was that house was it uh Prada? No. There was a house. I, I'm sorry, I cannot remember the house. I think Cadillac? No. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's fragrance from House of Escada, right? So it has a vibes of it. I smelled it in one shop, Casual Friday, but I did not get it. I so regret it that much, like a lot. But this is also a very nice perfume. Under budget. It smells so unique, very long lasting. I think maybe patchouli or something in it. I forgot. Check out my review on it. This is a very nice masculine signature scent worthy fragrance lasts a long time so top 10 let's go one by one number 10 yopom extreme okay you see a lot of these flankers and you go hard pass on them without even trying because you do not like the original i understand sentiments you know you didn't have a good experience perhaps but i'll tell you one thing this is special one this one and then also yopom i think uh man was the other one wild perhaps they are really really nice flankers this one is for people who like it kind of like is it boozy or tobacco one of these uh, vibes it's it's still sweet it's sweet but it's so much more wearable than yopom original and this one if you like fragrance like liege perhaps i think yeah that's the fragrance lance and Guerlain, or you like coco rico by jean paul this is a good alternative to those for a very good budget yopom extreme you can still find this just go to shops you know some of the shops will have bottles okay so now number nine i'm bringing you bentley fragrance i think uh bentley is one of my favorite houses take a look at that bottle this is not like a sticker okay this is expensive looking bottle this is like luxurious bottle i like these bottles a lot and they do have infinite original infinite infinite intense and a few more maybe one or two more this one simply speaking without uh describing it so much it's a more wearable version of tear mess and it's really really bright uh, the difference between Teodermis and this is uh, the orange in the opening. This one has beautiful orange and Teodermis has a little bit of powdery orange, which not everybody's cup of tea. This one is definitely a great fragrance for budget, great office wear for almost all year. Infinite Intense by Bentley. Next one, another car company with a beautiful bottle called Jaguar. And this is called Pace. So you see these bottles side by side. They look premium. I don't know about you guys, you know, like rather than a like a simple bottle if they have this kind of extra design and all that looks nice in the collection this is a very very nice fragrance too uh, this is a blue freshy but with a kick similar to you can say dylan blue type of perfume but it has more fruity vibes and more wearable and shower gel feel it's a, it's an everyday daily dry fragrance you can wear it as a signature scent for summer jaguar pace next one a fragrance that not many people talk about such a beautiful perfume beautiful uh, why spicy okay there's spices there's woodiness and it's a reminiscent of a jungle okay so this is uh, the name is actually jungle too uh, kenzo jungle okay this is for men they also have Ken kenzo jungle elephant and elephant version and also the tiger version that is for women 
I'm looking for the tiger version, never found it, but the elephant was so loud and so spicy. This is less spicy, more cedar and booty. And I just love the zebra theme up there in the cap. These are all very creative kind of bottles. I just love this fragrance. Look at that. It has this kind of like a tiger claw uh, image. And I just love this fragrance, man. This one, maybe not as beast mode that you, as you'd like, but really refreshing, uh, sort of like a cedar perfume for me, okay? Nice citrus opening and then slowly it becomes a woody a fragrance i think got few spices like coriander maybe uh i don't know was it i would like to think uh what's that note uh man mace perhaps something there are like few spices in it check it out you know they have some good spices in it nice wearable fragrance next one number six i'm gonna go with the masterpiece of a fragrance from mason alhambra so this is a dupe of uh, dior stuba color i never reviewed it but I heard it's a great boozy tobacco perfume. This is exactly what you get in this. Beautiful peaches, fruits, spicy, sweet, little bit of spicy, a little bit of like, I would say 1821 sweet tobacco spirit also. But tabak is a great, great fragrance. And this is why higher up in the order because very affordable. Tabak by Mason Alhambra, Latafa. Top five, top five, top five, always the best ones, isn't it? Number five, and the cheapy. Much more affordable than some of the other ones. This is called Jazz Jack by Jazz Jack Tobacco Leaf. This one I reviewed a few days back. You guys know Tobacco Venido. Really, really good. I do love some of the other ones too, but for the price, the performance, this is unbeatable. Definitely check it out. Really, really good gem of a fragrance. Tobacco Leaf, Jazz Jack brand. The same company that makes Armov. Number four, I was wearing it last night. Masterpiece, okay? F by Salvatore Ferragamo, black or F black, okay? There are three in the line. I think Casual Life. Yes, casual life, casual time, casual life, the blue one, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, Purum, and then F black. Okay, the F one doesn't have the base black. Always check the base. If it's black, is the F black. So this is the best from the line for me because the performance it has, spices it has. I think similar vibes to Chanel Alurum, but it's so really, really like so much better uh, in terms of value. Chanel is going to cost you 150 bucks. This is going to cost you what 35, 45 dollars now really good fragrance really nice bottle design check it out f black by salvatore ferragamo number three car company manufacturer back bentley i got this fragrance few uh, weeks back okay and i'll tell you one thing for men black edition this is a part of bentley for man line and i did a review from a sample i did not really care for it that much it felt like dior sauvage at first but i'll tell you one thing this one is not like dior sauvage this is a freshie which has uh you can say violet leaves some citrus says it's bright at the same time, a little bit spicy. And it has maybe ice soup or something, really long lasting. Really, really good fragrance for your signature scent. I mean, if you're looking for something to wear all year round, any purpose, this is a safe fragrance for that. Okay. Check out my review, Bentley for Men, Black Edition, nothing black about it. It's just a very, very polished fragrance. If you like Givenchy, gentlemen only, this is a good replacement with a much better performance. Two and number one. Number two and number one is going to be really special for me at least. This fragrance, I'll tell you one thing. Yeah, some of you American friends will say, yeah, this is no longer cheap. It's like 70, 80 bucks now because it's hard to find. But when it was out, it was super affordable, 35 bucks, man. And from that standpoint, it's a masterpiece. Okay, this is Lalix Ombre Noir. Take a look at the bottle and take a screenshot. If you tell me this one doesn't look expensive or exclusive, I mean, if I didn't tell you the price point, you'd be like, oh, this is Godfather's uh, fragrance. Okay, look at the juice color. It's just a regal perfume. I did not open this bottle yet i mean it, i did but i'm waiting to finish this other bottle which is still some amount of juice left i just absolutely love it and, you know this one is not part of lalix uncle noir line this is different fragrance but similar bottle with a different cap this one is sweet this one has booze cognac or something and it also has tobacco i think okay and this is such a classy smelling perfume perhaps not the longest last thing i get like six hours but this perfume you need to hunt it down before it becomes like two three hundred bucks lalik has some fragrances they are fragrances like thousand dollars as well i didn't know that but uh this is more of their budget friendly perfumes. i just love it ombre noir masterpiece so today number one i'm gonna put a fragrance ahead of this one only because i love it so much okay i do love the original a lot but i think this one is discontinued now hunt it down if you can this is called kismet angel okay and this is by Mason Alhambra Latafa. Okay, I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you. This perfume made it all the way to number one 
yes perhaps it's not as expensive as some of the other ones it doesn't have that you know maybe regal you know vibe to it but if you like angel share by um, killian i mean you not everybody can afford it this is the closest that you can get you know to that original killian i i know some of you will not be happy hey i love the original man yeah we love the originals but sometimes 50 ml for uh, 250 bucks not everybody is rich enough right this one will not cost you anything compared to the uh, killian this is so nice smelling really long lasting sweet you get almost all the elements that you get from uh, angel share but definitely the angel share lasts longer but also better fragrance but also much more expensive so there you go 15 affordable gem of perfumes you can try and do let me know how you like them these are for budget guys all right remember that and also treat them as such have a nice day thanks for watching and uh, see you soon bye bye